Romeo is now behind bars, where he was arrested after a recent manhunt. That is a big story today at 5. His picture has been circulated all across southeastern Wisconsin. He's a person of interest in a Milwaukee woman's death. After what police call an all-out effort, Timothy Olson now behind bars. Christina Van Zels joins us live in Franklin, where police arrested him today. Yeah, that's right. We just heard from the police chief just a little bit ago. He says Olson was actually spotted by an officer this morning around 1015 in this area near 35th and Rawson. They say Olson was pushing a bike and when police approached him, he ran. So police had to tase him and then arrested him. Racine police actually warned the public about Olson in early November. Investigators say he'd meet up with women he met on apps, drug them and steal money from them. About a week ago, a woman walked into a South Milwaukee tavern, passed out, and later died. Investigators believe she was with Olson. Now, back here in Franklin, police chief said today that he's also a suspect in a kidnapping and identity theft of a 79-year-old woman and two burglaries. We knew he was in the area, and uh, today we made an all-out effort to search the city, and uh, fortunately, one of our officers was very observant and saw him. According to the Franklin police chief, Olson did give a statement to detectives, but they're not releasing any more information on that at this time. In Franklin, Olson is facing charges of kidnapping, identity theft, and burglary, but the chief here says more charges are likely to come from other jurisdictions. Reporting live in Franklin, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News. Sounds like a good job from officers there. Christina, thanks.